Hi everyone, I'm here today to tell you about some things I've been loving recently. Everything I can link will be linked in the description box down below. I have so many things scattered around me, but let's start with books because books always a good place to start. So I have three bookish things to show you. The first one is a cookery book and I give all credit to Lauren from Lauren and the Books. This is the green roasting tin. She has been recommending this to everybody and everybody has been purchasing it. I really think she needs shared royalties. This book is incredible though. So this is a series of recipes. Everything is throwing stuff into a roasting tin and shoving it into the oven. It's very flavoursome, lots of spices. It's split into sections, a vegan section and a vegetarian section. So this is all vegetables. They do do a meat version of this book as well. There, I think, I think maybe that one is just called the roasting tin. Um, but so in each of the vegan and vegetarian sections that is broken down into dishes that take a very short time and then ones that take over an hour. I've made so many dishes from this and I haven't had a dud yet. I've had some that I haven't loved as much as others, but all of them have been good, if not amazing. Last weekend, it was my mother-in-law's birthday and she had 14 people round and Mr. M and I cooked dishes from this for that so we did lots of different ones that people could pick from and it was a resounding success my favorite one from this book i think so far is one that is roasted cauliflower chickpeas lots of spices with a tahini and lemon dressing it's great. I'll link this book in the description box down below. And thank you, Lauren. My favorite novel from February was Lanny by Max Porter. I'm not gonna talk about it here because I spoke about it in my wrap up, which I'll link up here and down below, but it's incredible. And I'm also giving away a copy of this book in that video too, if you would like to go and check that out. In fact, that giveaway closes the day after this video goes up. So if you'd like to enter, go and leave a comment. I also saw a production of this so Max was reading this with three actors at the South Bank Centre and I thought that was an incredible experience. They also had a band and as I mentioned in the wrap up he's hoping to do that at Cheltenham Book Festival this year too so if you're nearby to that try and get tickets to that but what I would recommend maybe as well as reading the book because obviously that's a brilliant thing to do I would also recommend the audiobook so I've just downloaded the audiobook because I saw I got a notification saying it was available now so I've bought the audiobook and downloaded it and even though I only read this book two weeks ago, I think I'm gonna reread it via audio. And I think you get a similar experience to seeing the production on stage when you're listening to the audiobook because they have lots of different actors reading the different parts. And because of the way it's set out in a series of speeches almost, poetic speeches, the audiobook I think is gonna be brilliant. I've listened to a sample of it and I'm very excited to reread it that way. My third book favorite is my own book. This is my eighth book, my debut full length poetry collection called The Girl Aquarium, which is coming out on the 25th of April. I'm counting this as a favorite because it arrived in the post my author copies did and I got to hold it in my hands for the first time which is always a favorite experience. This is a collection of poetry that looks at bodily difference, queerness, it looks at fairy tales, it looks at girlhood and trauma, lots of things, probably all of the things that you would expect me to write about in poetry book form. I've added three sample poems to my website if you'd like to go and take a look at those to see if you think it might be your cup of tea. If you're in the UK, you can pre-order it at a local bookshop. If you're outside of the UK or you prefer to order online, there are links of where you can purchase the book on my website, so I'll link that in the description box down below. I'm also selling signed copies worldwide on my website too. I'm really thrilled with the way that this has turned out. I love the cover and I hope that you guys enjoy it when it comes out next month. My next favourite is coconut oil. So I have been using the Body Shop Chamomile Makeup Remover, which is very similar to this. I believe it's got coconut in too, for a while, but it's very expensive. It is, I think, either 10 or 15 pounds, and you don't get loads. It is really lovely, but it just... it. it... <laughs> I didn't like spending that much money on my makeup remover. So what I decided to do was to buy this, which I think cost about four pounds, a huge tub of coconut oil. And I've had this for at least a month and I've only just made a tiny dent in it. So I scrape a bit into my hands, warm it between my hands, and then put it all over my face and it melts my makeup and then I take it off with a flannel that has been run under hot water and it has left my skin feeling so smooth. I don't tend to get breakouts too much but around my time of the month I do and I have noticed that I haven't been getting that since 
using this. So it may be this, it may be something else, but I have been really enjoying loving this and it is amazing value for money. The next favourite that I have, these two candles here, which I got for Christmas from my mum-in-law. So these are candles from Anthropology. They don't do them anymore, but I think that they are always doing new versions of their candles and all of them smell pretty amazing. Now, speaking of value for money, these are not good value for money. These are expensive candles, but my my hack for you is to check the anthropology website in the sales section because they have incredible sales on their stuff i have bought mugs there that were 15 pounds for two pounds they sometimes have their candles on sale down to four pounds which is amazing so this was angel food this one but as i said it's not available anymore but they always have candles on the go definitely check out the sales part of their website bargains to be had my next three favourite things are all from Lucy and Yak. If you've been around here for a while, you will know that I absolutely adore that brand. They are an ethical, sustainable brand and they make amazing dungarees, which, you know, one of my favourite things. So I have three things of theirs to show you today. One of those was very kindly gifted from Lucy and Yak, but I bought the other two myself and all of the previous dungarees that I've shown you before have always been things that I have bought myself. So at the end of last year, I bought in about maybe, oops, I'm just dropping things on the floor, maybe October last year, I bought this coat of theirs. It's gonna be hard to show you these things, but I will insert pictures of me wearing them. So this is their pink, fluffy coat um, and it is thinner than I thought it was going to be so I thought this was going to be really super cozy and it is cozy if you layer it up but it doesn't have a lining um, but it's really really lovely and when you do layer it up it is snug and I have loved wearing this it's really soft and it's made from recycled plastic bottles which is pretty incredible the next item of clothes from them is the one that they asked if they could send to me and i said yes please thank you very much so these are their new atlas dungarees they're 100 percent organic cotton and previously i had only worn their corduroy dungarees which are super comfortable these are also really comfortable but they're a slightly different fit so here is a picture of me well, I tell you what, here's a picture of me wearing the corduroy ones and then here is a picture of me wearing the Atlas ones, so the cotton ones. As you can see, the Atlas ones are even more oversized. I'm wearing a size small here and I'm generally in most clothes sizes, though we all know what clothes sizes are like. I'm generally a size 10, so I'm just mentioning that for context. Very oversized, but purposefully so, and therefore super comfy, and I've enjoyed styling them up very, very much. And then the last ones that I have to show you are ones that I bought myself again, and these are their new brushed cotton, high-waisted trousers. Now, I know that this waist looks very very small but it is super super stretchy these are so soft i love the check on here as well and again they are baggy but in the right places so they still have a shape to them and that's what i really like about the luciniac um brand as a whole all of their clothes are so comfy in fact i think their tagline is something like if it's not comfy why are you wearing it which i think has become my life motto but yet they are still fitted and stylish despite being oversized and baggy so here is a picture of me wearing the brushed cotton high-waisted trousers i am in love with them so if you're interested in ethical sustainable cool clothing i will link luciniac in the description box down below my final couple of favorites one of them i don't have to hand because i've eaten it that is a vegan hot dog stand that i discovered at camden market when i was there with the two laurens mercedes and jean they also do non-vegan hot dogs but i can attest to having had the non-vegan version and the vegan version, and the vegan version was actually nicer. Hello, sunshine. So if you go there, it's called Oh My Dog. Even if you're not vegan, I recommend the vegan hot dog, absolutely delicious. And my final favorite are these things, which were a gift from Mercedes. They were part of my birthday present. So she got me one of the gift sets from Lush that um, have a bath bomb in it, a mini body lotion, and a shower gel. So this is their sleepy brand. I'm not sure if the, the bath bomb I don't think is called Sleepy. I may be mistaken, but all of them have the same scent. And I don't have the bath bomb to hand because I've already used this, but this has vanilla in it, but the main smell is lavender. And it is so lovely. I've bought a bigger version of this to use once this has run out. I use this in the evening and it makes me fall asleep. 
not in the bath or in the shower, but you know, very swiftly afterwards, especially if I use this, the Sleepy Lotion afterwards. I haven't repurchased this one because um, I didn't feel I could justify buying both the body lotion and the shower gel, so I just got the shower gel. But both of them are scrummy, and next time you go past the Lush store, I would recommend nipping in and smelling them, though um, be aware it, it will make you want to go to sleep in the nicest way possible. So those are all the things that I have been loving recently. All of the things that I can link, I will link in the description box down below. What have you been enjoying recently? Please do let me know. I hope you're having a great week and I'll speak to you very soon. Lots of bookish love. Bye.